And with this system, this is something else I wanted to put in there. You notice they show you what they're doing all the time? There's something about these controllers where they want to show you, they sort of have to show you what they're doing. Everybody remember this poster when it came out? The construction of the EU? It's a great poster. It really tells you what's going on. Of course, you've got up here the Baphomet star. That's lovely. And the Tower of Babel. We're building the EU. That's the EU. Is the Tower of Babel. Of course, that's taken from this picture. So we know it's the Tower of Babel. But what else is in there? You see down here, you've got these, these guys here in suits. Well, you've got this Tower of Babel, and it's separated by a moat. And this is like the, the pyramid with the separated from the capstone, you know, so that the elite are in the tower here, but everybody's separate from it. You've got these guys here in suits, who are the guys running the system, running the government, and running the newspapers, looking across the moat, going, well, how do we get there? How do we get where you guys are? You know, they're kind of looking a little bit confused, and they're never going to get there, of course. They're just puppets. But look at all these things. These are the general population, the, the manual workers. Check them out. They're all blockheads. They're all blockheads, except for one. Can you see the one that isn't? Little baby down here. Because we're all born with infinite potential. We can all be anything we want to be. And of course, then they went and built the Tower of Babel in Stockholm. That's the... Uh, yeah, amazing. That's the head of the EU, so... They, t they tell you, they tell you what they're doing all the time. And that's what they're doing, folks. That's where they're heading us, into a world like that, where you can enslave your fellow human beings and rape the planet and be praised for your good business sense. Because that's what we've got. That's what it's about. And something else they're trying to do, transhumanism. This is another place they're leading us. They're disconnecting us from ourselves and leading us into a digital world, a virtual world, like I said before. You've got kids that are texting each other from across the rooms now. Go to parties and there's kids literally texting each other from across the room because they've, they've lost their communication skills, they're losing their life skills. You know, the internet and all of this stuff, this technology has made the world smaller to, to many degrees. I'm able to talk to people all around the world, I'm able to do a radio show across America where I'm sitting in a little cabin in Byron Bay. All these sorts of things are wonderful, but it's disconnecting people from their life skills, especially among the children. We're seeing a, a lot of this among the kids, they're just losing their, their ability to be able to communicate, their ability to be able to be themselves and, and acknowledge themselves. A lot of people create new personas online, something that isn't really them. You know, and then when they meet people, they're kind of embarrassed that they're not as cool as they pretended they were online. Because, of course, they're judging themselves by one of the three pathogens. And they tell us what they're doing. Anyone seen this movie? Transcendence, new Johnny Depp movie. They tell you where they're going. This is about a guy who uploads his consciousness into a, into a computer. And, of course, he creates nanotechnology. The nanotechnology goes up in clouds and starts raining down around the world and that's what's going on as well folks if anyone wonders what the chemtrails are all about. Chemtrails are, are a multi-platform delivery system. There's all sorts of things being found in chemtrails. Perhaps they are being used to combat uh, global warming as some people think. Perhaps they are. Perhaps it is uh, all being done for our benefit but uh, I don't think so. I really don't. I don't think these people that are carrying out fracking around the planet and carrying out all the destructive processes they're carrying out would really be too concerned about protecting us from the heat of the sun. I don't think that's the plan at all. But transhumanism is, is, is presented as being something really wonderful, something that's going to enhance us, something that's going to improve our lives. But really all it's doing is locking us further and further into a digital world and eventually, uh, and, and it all leads back to government as well. It's another way of controlling you everything that they do. If, if you've got a digital world and everything's monitored, if everything's digital, everything's monitored, they're talking about situations where you won't even need your mobile phone anymore. You can have a little implant in your, in your head and you won't even have to communicate. You won't even have to speak your information to the person on the other end of the phone. You can just think it. Anyone seen these new gaming machines that have come out where you can actually think? You can sit there and control the game with your mind and the game will facial recognition and all sorts of stuff can tell how many people's in the room, all sorts of stuff, all presented to the world as a game, you know. This is, this is uh, insidious where they're taking it, you know. Just think about it. You can control the game with your mind. You can do that because you're an electromagnetic being and everything you experience is electrical. This is quite literally a biological computer. It's a vessel that harvests a frequency from the field that you experience as you. And I'll go into that in a little bit as well. But this is where we're going, folks. That'll be a, a wonderful life for our children, don't you think? Living there in a virtual world, it's all good. You've got all this great stuff going on. It's just that reality isn't really that good. So you just don't pay attention to that anymore. And that's where they're going, folks. It's a wolf in sheep's clothing. That's what transhumanism is. 